लॉज ऑफ प्लैनेटरी मोशन वेरियस थियोरीज ऑफ प्लैनेटरी मोशन व प्रपोज बाय प्लैटो टोलेमी निकोलस कॉपरनिकस एंड टाइको ब्राहे क्लिक ऑन द लिंक्स टू नो द थियोरीज Plato's theory of planetary motion. According to Plato, the Greek philosopher, the stars move in perfect circular paths around the earth. The planets on the other hand seem to trace irregular figure. Ptolemy's geocentric theory. Ptolemy's geocentric theory proposes that the immobile earth is at the center of the universe around which the planets the moon the sun and the stars revolve Heliocentric theory According to the heliocentric theory put forth by the Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus the sun is at the center of the universe and the planets revolve around it in their respective orbits Tycho Brahe's theory Tycho Brahe a Danish astronomer could not accept the observations made by Copernicus. Tycho Brahe's observations were far more accurate than those made by Copernicus. After Tycho Brahe's death, Kepler modified the observations and these observations are known as Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Law of orbits. Each planet revolves around the sun in an elliptical orbit. with the sun at one of the foci of the ellipse law of areas the radius vector from the sun to the planet sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time law of periods the square of the period of any planet about the sun is proportional to the cube of the planet's mean distance from the sun that is t square by r cube is same for all planets where t is the time period of the planet and r is the distance of the planet from the sun t and r are different for different planets kepler's work put to rest the notion that planets move in perfectly circular orbits but kepler never knew why planets moved around the sun he assumed that it is due to the attractive force between the sun and the planets however It was Sir Isaac Newton who formulated a unified theory of motion called the universal law of gravitation. According to Newton, it is the force of gravitation between the celestial objects that causes planetary motion. Click on the underlined text. The universal law of gravitation. Every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force, which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. F is equal to g m m by r square. M and m are the masses of the two particles, and r is the distance between them.